Karakia. Eti atua, eti ori nei na manu. I fiti nei te rā. I ara nei te tangata. I koro koro nei te tinana. I hihiko nei te wairua. Pua ki roto ki a mātau te waka aru nui. Me tu hoka a pai. Ki a mura e ki te ahika o te wairua tapu. Ki a riti ki te ihi o te rā. Māori ora e te karaiti te kura hatu. O te mātu kura te waka. Amen. O oh God, the birds sing of a new day. The sun bursts through and people begin to awaken. Humanity stirs, spirits are alive. Implant within us the gifts of wisdom and discernment so that the ever burning of the Holy Spirit might shine forth like the rays of the sun. Hail to you, O Christ, the navigator and guide of our walker of faith. Amen. Amen. Te whanau kua tae mai nei, haere mai, nao mai, whakatau mai rā, te mea tuatahi ki te atuakaha rawa. Te kaiho mai o nga mea katoa, te mea tuarua ki atatou katoa, ki te nei huihuinga te kaupapa taha Māori, no reira piki mai, kake mai, te natato katoa. E te whanau who have arrived come forth, welcome forth land forth. First, we acknowledge God Almighty, the giver of all things. Second, to us, all this gathering, to this Kaupapa Taha Māori. Therefore, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi. Kia ora te whanau a te karaiti. He mihi tua tahi ki te atua, te kaihanga o te ao, nō rera te nā koe. He mihi tua rua ki te whenua me te moana o Aotearoa, te nā kōrua. Ki nā mate maha o nā motu, haere, haere, haere atu rā. Rātau ki a rātau, tātau ki a tātau. He mihi nui ki a koutou katoa, nā tangata e hia hia ana ki te ako, nā karakia, nā himani, nā tikanga o te reo Māori, mō te mahi ke roto i te hahi mihenari. Pai ki taku nā kau, ki te whakarongo ki te kaiako, Jacinthia, me nā kau matua kuia hoki, nā kupu mataoranga. Uh, no ingarangi me hoti mana aku tūpuna, ka noho au i kora rārika e nāene, mō rima te kao mā rima nā tau, tēne wahi taku kāinga noho, taku tūranga waiwai, ko heta tōku ingoa. Nō no rera, nā mihi ki o te wā o kirihimete ki a koto katoa. Tēnā koto, tēnā koto, tēnā tātou katoa. Uh, so, uh, greetings to the family of Christ. The first greeting is to God who builds our world. The second is to the land and the sea of our country. Uh, then we, I greet the dead and farewell them. Um, I greet all of you, the people who wish to learn prayers and hymns and customs of the Māori world for the work of the church. It's good to my heart to listen to uh, teacher Jacinthia and the kaumata 
Kaumatua and the Kuya, their wisdom. I'm from originally from England and Scotland of my that's my ancestors, but I've remained and lived in Kororaraka for 55 years. So it's my my place, my, the place where my feet are, and Heather's my name. And I wish you the best for the Christmas season. Jordan. Tina Kato Katoa, Angamahinui Mai Hoki Mai Ki Tahamabi. Thank you very much to our Kai Karakia Kai Mihi Te Atane this morning. Angamahi Nui Moto Mahi. Big ups for your work. Thank you. It's sounding more like it's becoming more normal. You're getting more and more used to pulling on the resources that you've learnt thus far. And thank you so much. Uh, and hopefully you're taking it out outside of, let's say, Zoom, outside of Tahamari also. And I encourage you to do so. Uh, my usual disclaimer, you're very familiar with that. I Whaiakene, what, what was next was, of course, this series was about um, um, to hikoi. And uh, is your hikoi continuing to challenge you? Is it continuing to tell, challenge you? So if you're getting maybe just a tad comfortable in some areas, it's time to step out and start challenging yourself on something new, on something more. Uh, so if you're already doing the Lord's Prayer and you've been doing it for a while, you need to do just a little bit more to challenge yourself. Are there still some rubs? Are there still things that uh, you've learned certainly in 2021? Uh, that that still upset you, that still rub. Uh, what are those things? And I think we've covered quite a lot of um, areas where there is scope for 
uh, things to upset and what are they and where are they? Uh, and so uh, perhaps a little later on, we'll have um, some time to kōrero mai, whakaro mai, uh, tato o, o kōrero, kia tato katoa. Uh, last week I, I told you about the webinar that was run last Thursday evening. Um, so I'm not sure if any of you attended, but I did. I went on board uh, and there were, just a sec, uh, there were over 800 people uh, joined us on Thursday night uh, to spend time in the company of uh, role models on supercharge your tau iwi tanga. Uh, everything you've always wanted to know about honouring te tiriti without hassling your Māori friends or your taha Māori facilitator, <laughs> let's say. Um, uh, I, on a personal level, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, and it's obvious that there's a real appetite in the tau iwi or non-Māori uh, community to come together and explore the role as tangata tiriti. Uh, people here by virtue of te tiriti. Uh, and it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, my favourite speaker on the day was Catherine Delahanti. Uh, fabulous, fabulous uh, response to all the questions that came flooding in. Uh, but she was my favourite and I hope one day to meet her. Uh, I shall go out seeking her. The discussion was rich, heartfelt, and real. Um, and, you know, it was great that people took the time to explore and wade into the discomfort of this topic. Uh, we were urged um, uh, to find other people to come on board. So I sent out a few invitations while we were live to supercharge our to iwi tanga. Uh, and together, we are stronger, kia kaha, uh, more influential, kia mano anui, and more resilient, kia maya. Kia kaha, kia maya, kia mano anui, stay steadfast. Uh, and uh, it meant that, you know, people could join in an anti-racism group if they like, or, um, or a book club that uh, could also look for allies at work um, and so they're looking for other people that can possibly bring about change towards attitude negative attitude towards um, I don't live in Aotearoa I live in New Zealand so just things like that um, that they're encouraging people to um, join a group of people to talk through it and talk about it. So if you know anyone in your group that might be willing to join our Action Station, there's their website up there, uh, please do. They cover all sorts of subjects. This, is, this was just one of them. But I did want to share with you that I found it um, extremely um, beneficial to me as Māori and to the hundreds and hundreds of non-Māori that were on 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 the webinar as well. Uh, and on the tail of that, I just want to show you something, a clip. There have been fiery scenes at Parliament as the Māori Party co-leader was kicked out, accusing Judith Collins of Māori bashing. But the National Party leader insists she's just doing her job. His political reporter, Benedict Collins. The Māori Party had heard enough. Order, the member will now leave the chamber. It was this question line around separate systems for Māori that sparked it. Does she in any way accept the view in Hea Puapua that New Zealand has two spheres of governance? It is 2021. Right. You know, in my, uh, in my view, Mr Speaker, I think New Zealand, New Zealand generally accepts uh, that we have a relationship between the Crown and Māori 
Can you please give your view on whether the Leader of the Opposition's continued attack on Māori is racist? Continuing outside the House. The Opposition Leader has been constantly bashing Māori. The Māori Party not alone. So this isn't just about us, this is the, the nation. We've got a lot of our whānau calling for this behaviour to stop. Yeah, we, we talk about unconscious bias, but what we're seeing here is very conscious bias. Conscious. They, are, they are targeting Māori. The Māori Party, though, they, they say they're upset by your questions, and they say that you're upsetting Māori around the country as well with your questions. What, what's your response to that? Well, the Prime Minister needs to answer my questions. This is what Parliament is about. It's asking questions. The role of the opposition is not to not ask questions. There's clearly uh, changes, major changes going on, and New Zealanders have the right to know. National believes the government is holding secret conversations with Māori around ownership, governance and joint sovereignty, and it's only right to question that. That's what I'm here to do. I'm the leader of the opposition. I'm not going to have my head patted and be told to sit down and be a good little girl. But it's not shutting down the National Party, it's shutting down racist rhetoric. It's rhetoric and propaganda. You can't be part of the conversation if you walk out. Meanwhile, the debate continued back inside the chamber. Working in partnership with Māori is not, never was and never will be apartheid. National, though, clearly getting traction on the matter. Benedict Collins, One News. A very powerful and uh, recent uh, discussion around different perspectives and different uh, mindsets around um, honouring te tiriti and um, perhaps the study of tau iwi tanga. So I did want to share that with you. Uh, the next slide or the next clip, uh, made in China and born in Aotearoa. In this TEDx clip, uh, Meng Fun draws on his life experiences with racism as a person of Chinese descent in Aotearoa to offer simple guidance to address our present race issues. Through his triple A strategy, Meng believes each of us can contribute to a more harmonious Aotearoa for the future. Ming Foon was born in Tairawhiti uh, in New Zealand, Aotearoa, to working class migrant parents. And he found himself immersed in a community that didn't look or sound like him. His family's early toil as market gardeners was profitable in a business sense. But more importantly, it brought social benefits with the family connecting with people across the region and from all backgrounds. This grounding and interest in Te Ao Māori evolved into a talent of building relationships within and between varied and diverse communities. Meng's talent led to 18 years as Gisborne's mayor and is now benefiting all of New Zealand Aotearoa with his appointment as Race Relations Commissioner in 2019. Tauranga moana, kāranga mai, ngāti pūkenga, ngai te rangi, ngāti rangi ni e tau nei. Not that long ago, that was more than enough Māori. Nida Gravish said kia ora when she pulled out those things at the telephone exchange, which we've forgotten about. Said kia ora, and she hit the headlines in the newspaper. When I was campaigning for mayor, I said te nā koe, which means hello. That was too much for some of the ratepayers or the voters. They never voted for me, obviously. <laughs> and then just a little while ago in this fine city, a short mihi was too much. I remember getting a phone call from the State Services Commission to say, Ming, you have got the job 
I was actually in London. I was visiting my grandchildren. And I said, right, we started. And I thought to myself, one thing I need to do is actually make sure that whatever I do is actually easily understood. And so I thought, oh, yeah, I think three A's. Three A's of awareness, affirmation, and action. Nice and simple. Awareness, affirmation, and action. When I was at Makaraka school, um, I actually didn't know I was Chinese. Till we actually learned these rhymes. And these rhymes used to go ching chong Chinaman, and it ended it up with this particular one, pulled the wrong tit and out came a bucket of shit. You probably know that if you're a little bit older. I went back and I said, Dad, Dad, I've learnt a new rhyme. And I said the rhyme to my father. And he says, don't you cheeky yourself, you are Chinese. And I said, oh, okay, am I? Because I quite like white food back those days because we used to swap my char siu bao, my drumstick, which was a soy sauce, siyao gai, with soggy lettuce sandwiches, <laughs> banana cake, yummy, soggy jam sandwiches, and my mates used to have this exchange, and we loved it. And um, I just want to acknowledge my parents. My parents came, my dad and mum came from war-torn China, and they were refugees from Guangzhou to Hong Kong. Even though my parents didn't know each other at the time, my father came here. As you know, Chinese people invented Google back in 1947 and says, oh yes, I think I'll go to the first place in the world to see the sun. And he worked hard and he saved some money. And the first racism that he actually encountered was actually the purchase of land. Not too much different to nowadays. And he had to pay a little bit more than the other, than the market price because he wanted the piece of land. And the farmer, Parker farmer says, yes, I'm gonna sell it to George. However, the farmers around them says, don't you sell to those Chinese people or China men, they called us. Not very sophisticated because they only made China and man. They couldn't actually make any more, something explicit than that. Anyway, dad bought the land and then he went back to Hong Kong to get mum, <laughs> right? But I was born in Gisborne, made in Hong Kong, born in Gisborne. Awesome. I remember um, the nuns from the Catholic Church coming to our school and teaching us about Mary and other biblical things. The earth was made in seven days and the seventh day was the Sabbath day and that was the day for rest. And I enjoyed singing at that time. When I went to um, at Makaraka school, we were very fortunate. This was back in the 1960s. And our principal, um, Pax Kennedy, he actually had the Maori families actually come and teach us Maori things, like their culture, their tikanga, and um, to speak. But I already had a little bit of knowledge in speaking Māori in the vegetable shop. Because I was a person that liked mimicking people. So if someone came from Scotland to our shop and says, could you give me a cabbage? And I said, yes, you can have a cabbage. <laughs> and so that's how it went. Or someone would say, pop with the morning to you. I said, pop with the morning to you too, sir. Or a person from Ngāti Poro would come and say, hey, keita, e kapiti mahu. And so I would actually say things. But you know when you learn languages, it's always the naughty things and the not appropriate things that you learn first, <laughs> right? And then my Māori customers will actually say, 
Kaua e kōrero pēna don't say it like that, but kōrero pēne say it like this. And so I correct, they corrected me, and I continued my journey, and I just spoke as um, everyday language that you would speak out on the street, not necessarily the academic Māori. And so, interesting enough, when I went to Gisborne Intermediate, on the last, there was no Māori at all, not even nothing, zero, in Intermediate, Gisborne Intermediate. But interestingly enough, the last day at school, one of the teachers, Huri Callaghan, says, well, boys and girls, if you want to take Māori at school, you can take it at high school. And I said, oh, goody, I'm going to do that because I can beat all these Māori kids because at that time I was quite sad. In the 60s and 70s, there was no Māori actually taught in the homes. And you hear the stories of punishment. And we learned Chinese at home. I learned two dialects of Chinese. My father was Si Yip, Ni Ho Ma, and my mother was Cantonese. And so um, I said, my mother said, well, what do you think you're going to be taking at high school? I said, oh, English, math, science, social studies, and Māori. And within a quick breath, she said, Sai jō hi, which means waste the breath, waste the time. Right? Anyway, we visit mum now and again. She's passed on now. But we visited mum in Hong Kong. They retired in Hong Kong. We go up the lift. And um, I said, how's the Māori, mum? Because I've become the mayor. You see? <laughs> how's the Māori, mum? I can tell you, if I never had the Māori language, I wouldn't actually be here. But anyway, we are a um, immigrant family, and we're taught to actually keep our heads down, backside up, work hard, and not disturb the peace, right, of the country. And I'm just thankful that Hear Me actually said you would make a good counsellor. Now, if you're in a, minor a majority, and if you see quiet people in your organisations that have the potential to do things, especially Māori Pacific and Asian, and if they are quiet, don't ask. Tell them. Tell them that, Sione, you will be good at organising the gala festival for our school. Because you know what happens in school. The teacher will say, who wants to rub out the dust on the blackboard. And all the Pākehā kids would say, pick me, pick me, right? And so um, just choose. As we reimagine our country, we need to be aware that it is a huge fruit bowl of diversity, of different looks, different thoughts right here in Aotearoa. And it is happening. Diversity is a given. It's not only diversity of colour, but also diversity of where you are from, rural, diversity of LBGTQI, diversity of disabilities, diversity of people having difficulty to hear, all sorts of diversity. This is what makes this country great. And this is the thing that I hope that we can reimagine re that we are aware of our people in our neighbourhood. And as we become aware of our communities, we need that affirmation. We need the reason why we need affirmation, and we, because we are terrible as humans, we tend to forget. And that's why we go to church often, or go to the places of faith. That's why we need to get our license renewed now and again or get our health checked. Or do you think sometimes we might think this problem that I've got pain with might disappear? Or do we know that if we reaffirm stuff like learning languages or learning at universities, you do assignments and you continue to learn, that that will reaffirm your awareness that your community is as diverse and inclusive as you want. And the last thing is you've got to act, because there's no good doing nothing. There's no good talking about the rhetoric. 
It's no good just saying things. Reimagine Aotearoa that we need to value indigenous thoughts, indigenous processes, and it is actually right here in your doorstep. You would know that in many organisations that the values of Māoridom, from Kaitiekitanga, Manakitanga, Aroha, Māwitanga, all those sort of things are actually in, in all organisations. There is a hunger for those values because they are enduring. New Zealand is a nation of hundreds of nations within it. Every iwi in our nation is a nation of their own. Ngāti Pukenga, Ngāti Poro, Tainui, Horota, they are all individual nations here living harmoniously in Aotearoa. And we have an opportunity to be world leaders in a country of caring, which has been shown during March 15, the pandemic, a nation where we can actually build nationhood of inclusion and being great New Zealanders. I think that won't be too long that it could be Aotearoa. It was Aotearoa, and then Tasman came and called it New Zealand something, and then it actually anglicised to New Zealand. And I dare say, like Mount Egmont, it's Taranaki, Poverty Bay, Turanga, Nuiakiwa, and our nation could be Aotearoa. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been awesome having a chat to you, but remember the three A's. Awareness, affirmation, and action. <laughs> and I'm going to sing you a little song. The song um, comes from um, our uncles from C Company, Māori Battalion. When they went over to Italy, they learnt a lot of Italian songs because the, um, the vowels are exactly the same in their pronunciation. Mama son tanto felice, perché ritorno da te. La me canzone te dice, che per belgiano per me. Mama son tanto felice, vive lontano perché mamma. Solo petta la me canzone vola. Mamma, sarai con me tu non sarai più sola. Quanto ti voglio bene, queste parole d'amore, che ti sopirai mia cuore, forse non so dono più. Mamma, ma la canzone mai più bella sei tu. Sei tu la vita, e per la vita non te lascio mai più. Mamma, ma hai più. Kia ora, everyone. Have a great evening. Thank you. Ming Foon, wonderful man, uh, and great, I mean, gosh, what an example. He's a walking example of how we in Aotearoa, I guess, you know, can aspire to, uh, we obviously emanate that in many of the things that we do. He's, there's still, yep, there's still rubs, there's still gaps. Uh, but I think, you know, uh, by and large, you know, everyone is making quite a concerted effort to, um, to be more inclusive, a little less sort of, um, well, I don't like the word racist, but, you know, being as one, one, but not assimilating, because we've done that. We've had 200 years of assimilation. Uh, so it's about honouring the uh, diversity, honouring um, 
te tiriti tanga and tauiwi tanga and all those sort of things. There's not one way, I think. And um, so I, I enjoyed that talk and I hope you did too, but I'm quite happy to, to open the floor up if anyone would like to make a comment. Thank you, Vicky. I really enjoyed Men Food Talk and it's so we waiting to hear the written, hit written, and we are together getting the home racking mountain with a rhetoric. And I think we need to hold on to that during the time, this time. Yeah, kia ora. Kia ora, Vicky, thank you. I think in Russell Kororaka, we started our Māori language classes in 2009 with the Wānanga o Aotearoa. Um, and this this year, <laughs> Thank you, Heather. Unfortunately, your internet's playing up again. And uh, yeah, and we weren't able to hear you. We did do at the beginning, like we did last week. Um, but but you faded away. It's definitely your internet. Um, but uh, I'm certain you probably had something really cool to add to the discussion. Um, but thank you. Anyone else? I think it's safe to assume that um, you know, and, and I've said this before in the past that uh, um, uh, Māori have always come out with their tinoranga tiratanga flag and they've done that for, for uh, you know, a century and certainly decades. Um, that, you know, uh, non-Māori need to do more and they need to do this and they need to do this and, you know, and, and, and yes, uh, that, that was a useful tool in its time, uh, but it's, it, it's not coming from Māori anymore if I could put it that way. The pressure is actually coming from non-Māori to non-Māori. Uh, but it's also a very friendly reminder for Māori as well, particularly when they're not, um, you know, uh, savvy with their reo, and many aren't, because they're particularly urban, urban Māori. They just don't see it as important as part of their mahi or part of their, their lifestyle. They just don't see it as an important component. And, and they can probably live the rest of their life without using it. But in some ways, um, you know, the, the passion of non-Māori to non-Māori is a friendly reminder uh, to Māori that, well, actually, we still need to play our part. We still need to accept that we also have a part to play in all of this. So uh, that's what I'm noticing in the last five years, it's really ramped up, is the uh, pressure from non-Māori uh, to non-Māori about tauiwi tanga. I'm finding, um, uh, I think a lot of us non-Māori um, are lacking the confidence to actually use even the simple terms in case we don't get it right. And that somebody who knows how to pronounce the words or, or, or make sure that they say the right words is going to think we're 
as stupid as we have often thought Maori are for not getting things right in the Pākehā world. But, but the hope that I see is that gradually, particularly through the news media, it's normalising. It, it's just becoming normal to say Oti Poti, Oti Kahi. Um, and and that's helping everybody because that's a major influence on everyone's understanding and perception. And if it's okay for them to say it on television, then maybe it's okay for us to say it too and not feel too bad about it. Mm. But but I think our biggest barrier is our own lack of confidence in articulating even the little bits that we know. Yeah, thank you, Gillian. Absolutely true. And you'll remember right from the very beginning when we started this series in 2021, uh, the, certainly the aspiration of myself uh, and what I'm imparting with you and what I'm sharing with you is to help you overcome that paralysis and that fear. Uh, and the best way to do that is practice. Practice with your, your vows. So, you know, uh, the fact that you... Uh, because you've been concentrating on your vows, and I'm hearing it now with the kai mihi and the kai karakia, uh, you can hear it. There's a huge difference. So there's going to be less fear when you deliver that exact karakia in your context, wherever you are, whether it's in your church or whether it's in your gathering or whether it's in a, a meeting or something like that. You've now built up the courage to use that karakia that you've been using here on Tahamari. Sorry, Diana, did you have something? Uh, no, I was just going to say from Ipsum, I find a lot of resistance amongst uh, older friends. Um, and when they hear it in church, they don't mind hearing a little phrase, but they don't want to hear a whole karakia. And uh, I, I just think that um, we, we, we walk carefully, but at the same time, build up our own confidence, as you say. And I have to say, <clears throat> Cynthia, that is what, this course has done for me thank you thank you diana very much thank you and i think perhaps dare i say this um you know if 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 our older generation are not uh open to um to where you are in your hikoi in your journey if they're not open to walk with you in a supportive manner then i suggest you reach out to the younger generation on that i have to say that i have um Nieces, nieces and nephews who are Māori, they are absolutely thrilled if they hear me <laughs> say, oh, ka kite anu. They just Amen. absolutely lap it up. And that is very affirming. Mm. So I'll keep on doing it. Thank you. Thank you, Diana. Yeah, so I think perhaps, you know, it is, uh, I, I'm very aware that in many of the churches, uh, they are very resistant and there's a lot of pushback. Well, we don't have Māori in our pews and, you know, things like that. And, and, and you know, I've already said this also, is that the pohere has created these silos of, um, you know, three tikanga. And sadly, uh, you know, uh, if I've heard non-Māori say to non-Māori, well, if you want to do that stuff, why don't you just go to a Māori church? Goodness. I find that quite uh, sad, really. But uh, anyway, it is what it is. But yeah, 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 yeah. And, uh, kia kaha, kia maia, kia mana wanui. Keep going. Keep going. Shinta, can I ask, um, I have noticed that in the media this year, particularly, um, they say, for example, instead of saying Auckland, they use like Tamaki Makoto. Is that kind of they intentionally using Maori language? Yep. Yes. In the yep. Yep. There, there is a, there was a clip. There are some clips mm -hmm. uh, around uh, Jenny May, particularly when Jenny May uh, joined the team on breakfast. Uh, Television New Zealand has just led the way, absolutely led the way. But that's because of their relationship with Scotty Morrison. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, yes. So Scotty now, he does te karere and he does all the Māori programs. So, so somewhere along the line, the executives of Television New Zealand decided, well, maybe we ought to do a little bit on our mainstream channels, you know, and then you had Jack Tame. So Jack Tame came in. He was definitely a person who changed things mm -hmm. on Television One. Uh, and then, of course, Jenny May came along and so on. 
um, but now it's on, you know, it's just normal. It's become oh, on the normal. sports program and everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, <laughs> there's a very moving clip on on uh, YouTube of Jenny May uh, breaking down in tears uh, oh. because she was um, inundated with very, very negative comments oh. uh, from non Māori about, you know, if you can't if you can't speak my language, then why don't you just go over to another channel? Because we don't want your language. Very, very hurtful. And she's breaking down in tears in that interview. I haven't shown it, um, but it is there. So it does affect Māori. Mm. And when TV we're is doing when the we're same. Re when we're it, rejected in yeah. that way. We're rejected in that right. way. Right. TV3 is doing the same. Uh, all the news readers, all the introductions to the programs. Oh, that's great. They're, they're all using it just as as normal. Oh, yeah. good. Not, good. Not no radio it you see me. Yes, that's right. So, yeah. yep, so yep. people are getting it whether I like it or not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah true and I think the next generation as I've alluded to I think you know yes our older generation will continue to push back uh, and I don't think uh, and dare I say you know something there are stripes you know it's about changing stripes isn't it? and so if if we can't then it's certainly going to happen in the next generation uh, so if if you're wanting to sort of, you know, stay within the generation or 2021, as Jacinda Ardern said, for goodness sake, it's 2021, um, you know, you're going to get left behind, really, as an, as an older person, as the people who are pushing back. But, you know, that might be, that might be okay, too. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, very, very, very compelling uh, court at all. So let me go back. <laughs> and then keeping with some good cheer, a little bit of a laugh. <laughs> On the first day of Christmas, my true love came to me, a storm to bow the hungry. On the second day of Christmas, Mumpy came to me. Two stolen engines! And a storm to bow the hungry. On the third day of Christmas, my brother came to me. Chris. 
Jeg er en legal snapper. Ja, jeg er en celebration and this 12 day party stuff. Yeah. She left me for the modern Maori quartet. For all of them. Oh that is quite modern. Very Maori. Cute. Seven uncles partying ten boys control time legal snapper eight hearty hongi seven money legs left six broken street five A new twist on 12 days of Christmas that you might want to share. Play it for your kids. Play it for your mokopuna. Play it. Now we have to nga wā me ngā rā tapu, seasons and Sundays, te wā o te hairinga mai, uh, seasons of Advent from page 550 to 559. So, kea koe viki, ko koe te papa. Te wā rangi o te wā ku kawa i wewa ki roto i a o wā. So a roa i te koe he tongu i a mana i waka o wai ki Ka koi e ka haere ki a koi ka waka haere te a koi ki tonu a roa. Te tintin te ino o te wā i tō atua so mato kaha mea se mato tomonaki homai kia mato te hotoa e e ona mai ki we 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 kete kowewa pono Eat na rai kato ki te pano ate i te kino. Ai 
kem ki ya manamanui ai ki na mama mo te ponu i runa i te inawa o i huka wai te tō matau a reiki. Amen. Thank you, Vicky. Thank you. Te rongo pai tapu ki te ringtenga aruka. Pene toru te mata i te irava fitu. Faka mui matitia, faka roriatia te atua. Nā reira, ka mea a huani ki ngā mano i haere ki a irira e ia. Eti uri nākahi, nā wai koutu i whaka mahara ki a reere i te riri mea ki puta mai. Nā, whaka puta ena i ngā hua e rite ana ki o tūtu. Te ripinata. Anga kei mei mea i roto ia koutou. Ko aparama aparahama tō tatu matua. Ko tāku kupu huki tēnei ki a koutou. E ahe ana ano i te atua te whakara tamariki a kei mā a perahama i roto i ene, ene ko hatu. Nā, i nai nei anō ki te pā te toki ki te pā ki aka o inga rāko. Ki te kāhore te tahi rāko e hua i te hua pai ka tuaina ka makā ki te ata, ki te ahi. Nā, ka ui i ngā mano ki a ia ka mea. Me aha rā mātou. Nā, ka whakha hoki ia ka mea ki a rātou. Ko te tangata i inga ko te irua ki a hoatu ki te tangata ka hore o nā mā te tangata he ka tāna ki a pēra anō. Nā, ka here, mai hoki i ngā pūpiri kāna ki a iri iri a kā mea ki a ia. E te kai whaka ako me aha mātou. Ka mea ia ki a rātou. Kei nui ake i ngā mea i whakaritia mā koutou tā koutou e tāngao ai. Ka ui ano hoki inga hoia ki a ia ka mea. Me aha hoki mato nga koktana mea tanga ki a rato. Kaua e tu ki nōtia te tahi. Kaua e muru nō ai te tahi mea. Kati anō mā koutu ko o koutu utu. Nā, i te iwi a tātari ana e whaka aro aro katoa ana i roto i o rato nā kau ki a hoane. Mehe mea ko te karaiti ia. Ka whaka hoki a hoane. Ka mea ki a rato katoa. Ko aho nei, hi iriri tāku i a koto ki te wai. Kei te haere mai i a tētahi, he kaharawa ake i aho. E kore aho e tau hei wewiti i te here o ona u. Mana koto e iriri ki te wairu a tapu ki te kāpura. Ko tāna mea tahi kei tōna ringa. 
he tino tahi itana patuna witi. He kohi hoki iti witi ki roto ki tana fare witi. Koti papata ia atahuna ki te kapura e kore e tinea. He maho maha atu a ano hoki ana kupu fakaha i kaupa ai ia te long pai kite kiwi kite iwi. Te ronga pai tēnei a te karaiti. Taka moe matitia ia te kupu mana. Anna. Wow. Thank you. Thank you both, uh, Vicky and Gillian, for those um, sentence collect and karaipi today, uh, relevant to this coming Sunday. Kia ora, uh, uh, kōrua. And the pronunciation, Gillian. Honestly, you have nailed it. You're you really you're really getting it. So if there's any fears, just chuck them away. Throw them away. Well done. Well done. And same to you, Vicky. Your confidence has grown and your and your pronunciation just really beautiful. Really beautiful. I just want to take us, and I know some of you have to go that you've got the Southern Cluster meeting coming up and Kate Pai, Kate Pai, but I just want to just play just a wee snippet uh, and of more colonial fun. Prayer book, page 510.a. Te manaki tanga. Hairi mai haire, ki te ao fa nui, ironga iti rangi marie, ki a maya, ki a kaha, ki a u, ki te mea tika. Ka ua e tu tua te kino, ki te kino, e nare manaki tia na hunga. E tu kino ano ki a kwea. Kua riro mai nei. E a koto te marama kota ina ki te ao. Amini. Ki a tau mai ano ki a koto. Na manaki tanga ati atua kaharawa. Ati matua, ati tama, ati wairua taku. Amini. Amini. 
Lovely. Thank you, Megan. Wonderful. So, yeah. so come, come, go to the wider world in peace. Be confident and strong. Stick to the right thing. Do not repay evil with evil, but bless those who persecute you. Now that you have received the light, distribute this to the world. And so it is settled again to us, the blessings of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Beautiful. Beautiful. There you go. In the prayer book. Thank you, Megan. It's in the prayer book. Already there for you. Utilize it. Um. Kia tau, kia tato kato, te ato fai. O to tato arikia ihu, kara haiti. Me te aroha. Mete fifinga tahi tanga kite wairu a tapu. Lovely, and of course you know how to get a hold of us at any time. Uh, thank you once again, uh, Mihi Nui Kia Koto, for uh, joining us and being with us again. I hope you've been, had a bit of a laugh, some serious and some, you know, and some fun also. But they're all relevant. They're all relevant to today. Uh, they all, it happens even today. So, yeah, cool. <laughs>